Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Feed Me Pixels channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra Man Person Thing, with my Chupacabra ankles and flesh. And we're back for more Sky Saga. I'm still hanging out with Sly Copper. Hello. And I have been making adjustments to my new base. I have my old base, but I had to recraft all my shit anyway, so, you know, whatever, fuck it. And yeah, I guess I'll just show you guys what some of the crafting looks like. So you kind of have to use one tool to make another one. And then you just have to use a bunch of these different component pieces. And together they will allow you to craft things in a queue. And when you craft multiple things, they'll just sit like attached to the machine. If they build up and you're across the, the, the base for a while, when you walk up, they'll like floop into your inventory as long as there is space. And yeah, and then you just equip them like it's a, an item, and then you can flop it down on the floor wherever you please. So this is my new workspace inside of my monolith chamber. And I, I can't help but feel like I'm playing No Man's Sky again, considering everything you could interact in that game with it was practically called a monolith, so, you know. All right, well, that's one major quest done. Just crafting all the furniture, and then I need to defeat one wolf and perform another power attack. Yeah, all right. Oh, I need to follow another player and win one build-off contest. You know, considering how many people are really good at building in this game and have been practicing that since the first alpha, it's kind of presumptuous to front of your first quest to give you a win a build off contest. Like, you're gonna be sitting there doing that shit for a while, unless you just start your own contest at home with your dog. I mean, in the previous alpha, I stayed in queue for like a good hour and I didn't get into any, in any like actual contest, so I wonder about that. Yeah, that's weird. But first, I'm gonna unfollow and refollow you, Sly. So I can finish a quest. And, uh, yeah. I like how it shows me a little snapshot of you, like a little Polaroid, like, here he is, D'Artagnan, with his giant blonde hair that's literally bigger than he is. Between Dolly Parton's eyebrows and this hair, we could make a full glider. Alright. You know what? I think I actually got some... Did I get armor or anything? No. I nearly didn't. I just got some plain Jane weapons. Alright, whatever. Let me put down some chests. And we can start sorting everything. So this chest will be for all of my... Mining materials... Metals blocks, maybe some wood, maybe everything will go in here, because fuck it, now that I think about it, we're just starting again, I ain't got enough chests for all this, so it's just gonna be the everything junk drawer, but I will hang on to my bow and arrow, I've not used a bow and arrow since the original alpha that I played, that might have actually improved substantially, and with that, I'm going to go back to the city of first light, and there, I presumably will get some cool bacony quests and missions. And I've also become a rank one settler, which means they'll have given me some settler currency in the mail. Who knew that people will pay you just to sit at home and make a bunch of chairs and then not, you know, sell them to people? Like, look, man, the chairs are possessed by evil. We can't just sell those. We just pay him to keep him in his house. I'm trying to decide now what a possessed chair would do. Oh, hell yes. Now I can make those better mining picks. Shit, yeah. I do need those, too. Like, those are very, very important to have because I don't want to spend a decade of my life farming crap. What do I need to craft that? I guess it's not going to tell me unless I go back to my island and talk to one of the machines, of course, of course. 
All right, well. I mean my own, so I probably can help you out. Let's see here. Peregrine Wayfinder, a friend in need. I need a moment of your time, Larry. Standing stones are an ancient technology we barely understand, but one thing we do know is that they sometimes require fairy hearts to activate them, or fiery hearts. And uh, in order to start gathering these splendid items, you should complete at least one of my daily quests. You'll need to... You'll need help the city and help yourself at the same time. I like how that's such a... Such a dick move, like, before I can give you this probably very easy to get information, I'm going to need you to do and get me a coffee from across the street and spend eight of your dollars on overpriced coffee. You asshole. Alright. the proper skybox. Damn right it does. Oh, this guy lets me buy some different keystones so I can quickly start going other places if I wanted to. Neat. Uh, let's start talking about some other news. Sly, have you heard that there's a, gonna be a huge expansion of Facebook starting into the streaming game? So oh, yes, um... There's been talk about that for a while now, especially with the whole mobile gaming industry being so relevant. Yeah, I just, I know that the guy from Good Eats does a weekly stream on Facebook for all of his fans where he tells them, like, I'm working on this project this week, I'm currently in Orlando, or wherever he's doing his cooking shows, Alton Brown, that's his name. He's like my only favorite person to watch do cookie things with on the Food Network, because he's funny. Oh, sweet, I got a bunch of stuff from this lady. All right. So there's actually a lot of crossover now in, like, goods that you get from both the Settlers and from the Adventure people. Like, the the Settlers just gave me a pickaxe, which you'd probably only need if you were adventuring. Alright, that's not too bad. Yeah. That, I, I kind of do like that, because it gives you a reason to do both, whereas before, you had to kind of force yourself to do some of these quest chains just to get one item that you actually wanted. But yeah, so one of the things that I paid attention to recently with the knowledge that they'd have streaming build up is that Blizzard Entertainment is actually building into or has already built into Battle.net the ability to stream natively to Facebook after you set up your microphone and your webcam and everything. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. I, I, I've noticed that a lot of the current gaming and streaming apps will ask you to link to Facebook and other social media. Yeah, they want to but. be able to share everywhere, and that's a good thing for both you, which is what, you know, they want you to use it for, but it's also good for them because then, like, in parentheses somewhere, they can be like, post it with this tool, download now and be cool and famous like PewDiePie. And that's kind of what they're banking on, which isn't bad, I just kind of wish that there was more standardized functionality and quality to some of these free streaming and recording apps that people gave you. Like, Minecraft was one of those that Minecraft has had for a very long time has had some built-in streaming capability to stream to multiple different services. The only problem is that it's kind of shitty. Like, depending on your computer, it's very shitty to do that or to even use it since Minecraft runs off of Java and... To say that Java is efficient would be the biggest lie ever. Although that might have less to do with Java itself, and more to do with people just not coding it in the way that would best suit that platform. Because there are some frameworks for building games with it. It's just not everybody uses it correctly. No, I mean, Java's been around for a long time, so... It's understandable that it's not up to par to more recent things like HTML. Um, I mean... I, out of the top of my head, I remember that, like, that really old game that's still around, even though it should have died years ago, RuneScape. It still runs on Java, and they have been trying to convert it to a newer format for a while now, but it's almost impossible because they're all because... framework and engine. They've actually Jesus. gone back and used the older version is still the more popular version. <laughs> I don't I mean I don't know what to tell you about that one. I just thought that was rather entertaining. 
I also wish that this dude would use this fucking portal or leave. Clyde? Clyde Wolfsbane, you're an asshole. You're pogging the portal that I want to use, you dick. So that's stupid, too. Like, if someone's using a portal in a public town, like, there's gonna be lots of people who just open that and go AFK. Like, seriously. Where did I see another one? Was there one up in the settler place? There better be. There's one by the skeleton. Is that one? Can you use that one? That did that to the trying. I uh, guess I will, because otherwise I'll have to teleport back home. Oh yeah, you can just use it. It's just a regular megalith. Okay, to the forest, to... Uh, let's go to the menagerie. Fuck it. There's no specific quest for that, but we'll go check it out anyway. Did that lady give me another quest to help somebody? No, she just said, like, a friend in need, and then... Nothing happened. Okay, that's weird, but whatever. I'm not gonna question it, I'm just gonna go stab things in the forest to get more materials, because this stuff, again, very quickly becomes expensive when you need to make new armor, new weapons, shields, daggers, bows, houses, flowering pots, so that the neighbors don't think that you're just some broke guy from out of town. All those important things in life that make me sound like a crazy person. Okay, we're in the Bright Vale Menagerie this time. Nothing too crazy right off the bat. Oh, I have a phone call. Peregrim says, Adventure beckons here. Explore this island and see what you can find. I mean, that's... That's basically why I went through the portal, Peregrim. You're, you're a little behind on this whole deal. Just letting you know, bud. Alright, there's a little bit of this sky stone here next to the portal, or at least the exit from the portal. You know, I don't think those portals used to have names, now that I think about it. I think they were just adventure portals before, but that's not really a name, that's more of like, a general description. Yeah, back then, they're just those, like, weird stone blocks on the floor that you couldn't even harvest. Yeah. I mean, you could pick them up, but you couldn't do anything else with them. They're in your base. Yeah, there is actually a huge, like, speed increase when you use the new pickaxe as opposed to the old one. Can I just craft that out in the woods? I cannot, so I'll have to wait till I get back home to make another one of those. But they gave me one for free, so whatever. It's fast enough for right now. I'm gonna get some extra wood, and then I'm gonna go hoof it to the nearest landmark. Eh, maybe a little sky stone on the way. Can't hurt. So of course I get like a shard of metal in my eye, but... Honestly, when you're wearing proper goggles, when does that happen? Except I actually had a splinter of metal almost rip through it into my eyeball one time. Wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. It's a very terrifying experience. Now you're saying this, but I've still, like, tried to take, uh freaking melting iron in their mouths to wrinkle it off. What? That's crazy. Why would they do that? So, that was a crazy so there people's was a lie. <laughs> there was this guy trying to solder a chip for a board, I suppose, and he got a bit of iron in his, in his finger, so it's like, oh shit, it's hot. So he takes it to his mouth, and then, oh shit, it's hot. So Funny thing how that happens. happens. You notice that there's almost like this iron ball on his tongue that almost looks like a piercing. Oh, that's terrible. I've burned my mouth with, like, shit popping in there before when I was working in shop class in high school. Would not, would not recommend at all. Jeez, why are there so many of you? Why? Go away. Go away. Bad touch, bad touch. Hey. Okay, I found a mine and things are spawning very, very quickly. Slide to the rescue. This one of these guys is just a mini boss with just a big ass hell hammer.
Ow, that's my butt. It's like you really only just drop a little bit of money when you die. It used to be you had to come back and pick up all the stuff that you'd picked up since you entered the instance, which became very annoying. Because then you'd have, like, stuff you just killed near your bodies, then you'd have to resort everything and throw out the stuff that you don't really have room for. It's really bizarre. Kind of awkward. Yeah, you see how fast these guys are spawning? I killed that boss, like, three times. I guess he wasn't a boss, but he was certainly big, meaty, and annoying. Yeah, they are quite faster compared to the other alpha. I mean, that's good in some parts because before you like you'd never find enemies to kill, and you'd have to come back like at the end of your adventure and hope that they'd respawn. But without a lot of people, the spawn rate in here is just ridiculous. So what I've seen people do and I would suggest to the developers is that you should tie in the spawning rates to a certain threshold of people in the area. Yeah. That's probably a good plan. That's, I think that's what Blizzard Entertainment does with their new expansions. Yeah, they've been doing that for a while though. Alright, we need ten bandits from outside of this murder tower. Hello? Banditos? I need your organs. Everyone line up. Get massacred. It says the door is blocked after it opened. Yes. Okay. It, it's very blocked, game. I believe you. I believe you with my, with my believing eyes. Get out. Stabby, stabby, stabby. You really have to use up this Fury Bar fast, or else you are not going to have the opportunity to do a special attack. That's... that's kind of shitty. There is also really no reason to go into some of these little side rooms. There's just like a locked door and there's really nothing behind it. Huh. I mean, whatever. It's not the weirdest thing I've done today. I guess I'll see who's hiding in the tower. Oh, no one's hiding in it, because I don't think it's hollow. Oh, is this really it? Okay. Little, little disappointed. Ow. Thanks, ladder. Boy, I found the tower. Well, at least you can kind of break the bars to get iron. Nope, nothing inside of here, just hollow. Hollow like so many politicians' brain parts. Come here, you. I'm gonna stab you real good, like, see? These special attacks are fun and all, but they might get old pretty fast. They're really going to need to have some functionality of turning those off. And just yeah, letting you... like, the mini cinematics. <laughs> yeah. Because those get old fast, like, constantly seeing the milestone reached in No Man's Sky. It's just redonkulous. Oh, there's Skelebones here. Only need three of these. Needed ten of those other buttholes. Ooh, these are new. Hello. The undead give tasteful necklaces, huh? Common quest item. It's totally not made from their teeth. Oh wait, no, that's just a quest objective, never mind. Is that was that the joke? It's tasteful, like it's from your teeth. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Careful, Sly has br brought out the Punson burner from his laboratory. There's no escaping it now. <laughs> Alright, well, what other kind of news was there out there that happened recently? Oh, yeah! That old Toe Jam and Earl game is getting remade. Oh, yeah, I've seen about that, but it's not something that I really knew from back then. And so I just kind of skimmed over it, <laughs> I guess. 
I saw the Game Grumps do a little playthrough of it. It's basically two stoner jazz heads, like their chip breaks down, and they have to go get all the pieces back from this weird multi-dimensional world. And that's pretty much the sum of it, and Adult Swim is partnering with some people to produce it. To remake it in, like, modern thingy-ma-boppers. And I mean, it's a weird game. It was kind of made back in the time when you just kind of made games. They didn't necessarily make any sense, nor did they necessarily have to. Ooh, rabbit meat. I think I still need some bandits. Yeah, it's only like four of them. And here's just what the doctor ordered. Three of those four. Some of these bandits are actually kind of just look like generic people now. Like, they used to primarily be animals or people you might see in town. But these just kind of look like, I don't know, the Punisher's nephews and nieces. It's like, come on, kids, you can punish them. Just think about how sinful they've been. Like, Uncle Buck, this is getting weird. Let's see. All right, that's, an, that's that quest done. I guess we'll see what kind of treasure chests are in the big mansion. Ow. Oh, there's two of you, shit. Sly, I need an adult. You count, probably. Maybe. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, I mean, adulty enough. You're about as adulty as I am, so... Could be hit or miss. What's in room number 537? It's a door. Hey, there's a Sly out there. Hey, Sly. I, it turns out I don't need an adult anymore. Take your time. Stabbing the locals. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I need you to... Know, I need to, act, to ask them some questions. Yes. Ask them kindly. In the face hole, preferably. You know, a lot of these chests are just giving me shit I don't need. Like, a bunch of money that drops from pretty much everything. But then again, like I was saying before, a lot of these chests, a lot of the stuff that comes out of them, just all the items, you eventually can use for something. There's very little in this game that is purely worthless. Which is mostly just the quest objectives, which have a very specific purpose, being for the quest. Yeah, I guess that's all that's up in the attic, is a bunch of cobwebs and a dead guy. Oh, wait, no, there's gonna be another dead guy. Who who would have thunk it? No, you aren't no, using those organs. Him, it doesn't count. Oh, alright. Fine, I'll go find a fresh one from somebody else. Hmm. Somewhere over the rainbow where skies are blue, there's another chest that I missed. Down. Oh. It's hiding underneath the stairs. And it's just a bunch of blocks. I'll take things I didn't need for 500, Sly. Oh, really? Was that it? That feels like a ripoff. That's the best thing that was in here. Yeah, this is just a house full of chests with blocks in it. That's lame. You're as part of downstairs? I might have. There's, there's a proper hole in here. Oh, wait, is there an It's like end? one of those dungeons. Okay, let's check that out. This will be a longer episode as we go dungeoneering. Okay, yeah. We'll have to go hopping down. Good to know that some things haven't completely changed. As I slowly get the hang of all this climbing and using ladders again. You'd figure after the age of five, you just kind of have that on lock, but not so much, no. Ooh, you can hit multiple targets with your finishing moves. Kind of line them up and take them all to half health or lower. That's neat. Alright, I'll reset my spawn point with the ye old fireplace. And what is further in... Oh, there's a... It's just another hole. There's a hole in the 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 bottom of the sea, Sly. Did you get all that? The hole in 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 the bottom of the sea? Uh, 
yes, sure. Okay. As long as you got that written down on a sticky note somewhere. We can't, we don't want to get lost now. Okay, I am now push feeling... Push the can just sing where the hole, where the hole, where the hole at. Where the hole, where the hole, where the hole, where the hole at. Okay, yeah, that's the trouble with this. Getting stabbed too much. Oh. Okay. Oh, you're already ahead of me now. Oh, I'm quite lost, though. <laughs> I mean... Just in a game in like circle. this, are you ever really found? It's okay. like, I see the skull for the boss, I just cannot find him, actually. Yeah, some of these can be a little bit confusingly laid out, I will admit. But again, when you're working with a partially procedurally generated game, that sort of stuff is bound to happen. See up this ladder? Seems very haphazard. Oh, hi, friends. Were you waiting for little old me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Wait, no, this is the hole that we were just jumping down into. What the hell? Sly, pull out Google Maps. I'm sure it knows where we're going. Well, I tried, but it seems that Google is trying to copy Able, and it's actually sending me to the middle of the Oceanic Ocean. Dang it! Fucking Aquaman always borrowing our shit and then not setting the like the the defaults back. Well, if we just came in through there, what's the last thing to do? Eh. Fall down again, I guess. I mean, supposedly I have to find the boss. That would. As of the guess that he's further down. I mean, we can always start digging. Oh, is this a new path? No, that just mm -hmm. wraps around to a similar place, I think. Actually, maybe not. Now that I think about it, might be a different fireplace. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Angel. It just it just seems the same. Hi, friends! I'll get to finish my Stab a Wolf quest now. Where the wolf, where the wolf, where the wolf at? He's gonna start grabbing your butt. A couple of them, actually. I got a couple of ranks up in my Explorer quest. Hot ziggity diggity damn. And I got a new medal. The Wolf Stabby Majig medal of Wolf Stabbington III. And a fancy naval award. Okay. I mean, I've never been boating, but I'm sure I've earned that. Same with you, Sly. We've both uh, used our very naval powers to do all of that stuff that I just said. Okay, well, I guess the end rooms have kind of stayed the same. There's just a boss with a bunch of shit in there. Used to be that you had a monolith back in here that you could teleport out with, and I really miss that. It felt better paced, like your reward was having a cool exit to this world. Oh well. Well, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a little bit longer. Hope you've enjoyed Sky Saga so far. It's a lot of fun, and we have a code for you in the video description if you're interested in joining us. I've been your host, Lair the Chupacabra. This has been my buddy, Sly Copper the article man from the website and we'll catch you next time don't forget to like and subscribe check out feedmepixels.com and yeah we'll see you later have a good one everybody toodles thanks for watching